Hi, I'm Dr. Kevin Zorn, Professor of Urology, Founder and Director of BPH Canada. Today, I will take you through a case in where the Claris EC7 endocavity probe was used to assess prostate anatomy, length, and volume, as well as the delivery of a periprosthetic block for a BPH procedure. We begin the procedure with the safe and careful introduction of the EC7 probe into the rectal fossa. And at this point, we will start by measuring the three dimensions of the prostate. So careful assessment of the periprosthetic structures, the very large veins that could be seen in the periphery, and determining clearly the capsular dimensions, the width and height of the prostate, quickly saved to the cloud, followed by the sagittal view. In the case, you can notice that I'm only looking at the screen of the phone for the entire procedure. I'm not gazing away, looking at a standalone ultrasound machine, and therefore the economy of motion and efficiency is optimized. At this point, using a sterile accessory choke or attach the probe, we can introduce our long needle into the fossa and deliver our five cc's of lidocaine beneath the seminal vesicle, the standard location for our periprosthetic blocks, keeping in mind not to enter any vascular structures. Since we are doing a BPH procedure and wanting a deeper block, we will pass our needle through the seminal vesicle into the space above the clouds, as called by Dr. Bears, using the modified Bears technique, and injecting the lidocaine above the seminal vesicle, and then retracting back to the apex. So to get full neurovascular control with anesthesia, we will introduce the remaining five cc's at the apex. So at this point, delivering more anesthesia under the seminal vesicle to ensure a optimal blockade for the resume BPH procedure. So clearly, the delivery and the anatomic precision of the urological and vascular structures are unprecedented. So again, entering the contralateral seminal vesicle and piercing through the seminal vesicle and doing, again, the same technique above the seminal vesicle on the contralateral side, keeping in mind not to enter the venous structure and the structures around those anatomic features. And now, bringing our attention to the apex, which often is not always addressed and is very important, certainly with BPH procedures such as resume. So again, careful entry into the space nearing the sphincter and the apex of the prostate and delivering five cc's of lidocaine on both the left and the right side. Again, noticing my ergonomic posture, all while gazing at one single image throughout the entire procedure. So aside from being a, a very facile, you know, in under three minutes delivering all the anesthesia, minimal equipment, being mobile and modular, certainly improves my practice and allows me to deliver fast, efficient care for BPH surgery.